Hey guys, I am just on my way downtown. Downtown. Look at this crazy dude. Whoa. Holy sh. He's stuck. Oh, I have never seen, he's going back. LA be crazy. The same dude just drove past me on the shoulder. Yo, either that homie's about to give birth or take a gnarly dookie. Anyways, I'm on my way to my old agent's office. I don't want to say ex-agent because that feels like harsh and I actually really still like her. I'm going to her office because one of you guys sent me a box. I'm very excited to see what it is. I hope it's nothing scary or inappropriate. So yeah, if I don't spend the next seven hours in traffic, I should be there uh, anytime today. Oh my gosh, I wonder what it is. I'm so bad, I have to open it now. I'm too excited. I love presents, you guys. I made a terrible mistake. We've got peanuts. Oh man, okay, I'm doing it. Oh, this is heavy. Oh my gosh, I think I know what this is. More peanuts, uh oh. <gasps> oh my gosh, it is. So I'm gonna show this to you guys at home because this is really cool. I'm back home, I just changed into my workout clothes. So, it came in the mail. It's actually not something from you guys, I was mistaken. Ready? Dun, dun, da da dun, da da. <gasps> What's this? 2016 iHorror Awards Best Horror Film Actress, Juliana Harkavy. That's me! So this year, I won a Best Actress Award for a film that I did called Last Shift. I'll put a link down there. If you like scary movies, you might enjoy it. But I can't believe I won. I, I, I was up against like some really amazing competition, and I, I wasn't expecting anything. And then I found out I won, and I was like, oh, wow, that's cool. And then I sort of, well, I didn't forget about it, but I thought that was it. And then all of a sudden, this comes. This is super heavy. It's a really nice award. You saw the box it came in. It was ginormous. I can't believe this. This is so nice. Thank you so much, you guys. Everybody who voted, everybody at iHorror, thank you. This is my first award, I think, ever <laughs> in anything. <laughs> Seriously, that's kind of sad. So now I have something to practice my Oscar speech in the mirror with. We're coming for you, Academy Award. We don't have our office totally set up yet, but I think this will be the perfect spot for him here. <laughs> that's so awesome. So I'm setting this up like my little workspace. I have my piano. I'm going to put a backdrop there for my videos and then I'll leave this guy here next to the computer so while I'm working or writing, I can look at him for inspiration and remember that hard work pays off and remind myself to just always keep going and never give up. God, I just made myself emotional, I'm such a dork. But I am proud of myself and it's okay to be proud of yourself, guys. It's a good thing to be proud of yourself if you succeed in something or achieve something. It doesn't mean that you're arrogant or stuck up or anything. You should be proud of yourself all the time. You know, I've been acting since I was nine years old. I'm 31 now. So uh, being recognized for what you've been doing your whole life and what you love to do is amazing. I just feel very blessed and very happy and we're gonna go celebrate it now by going to the vintage market. Yay! So I didn't get to film too much at the vintage market. I got kind of caught up with one of the vendors and I just ended up doing a, like an exchange with him, a trade for the exact same piece that I have in a different color. So we just got home and now we're in the yard playing with the babies. Two out of three babies anyway. Lily likes to um, attack the others while they play. You know, we all have our thing. I just turned on my TV and I'm getting ready to watch this debate. I don't know why I'm like kind of nervous for it. Silly, it's not like I'm the one up there, but um, yeah, I don't know. I don't really wanna get all political on my channel, but I am gonna say I think it is such an important thing that we all vote this year if we are legally able to do so. Vote, vote, vote. It is more important than ever because I think this year in particular, our civil rights are at stake and our, our country safety is at stake. And I just think the world is a, a bit off kilter right now and we need people who are responsible to do the responsible thing and vote. It's very important. There they are, here we go. And she has become a US citizen and you can bet oh, really? she's going to vote okay. this November. Okay, good. Let me just tell you, you know. 
good morning. It is the next day. We finished up the day yesterday by watching the debate and having some dinner and just sort of relaxing. Did you guys watch it? What did you think? I'm just getting ready to go to the dentist. Fun, fun, fun. I had a piece of a filling break off, so they took out the whole filling, which I've had since I was a kid, and they put a temporary piece inside of my tooth and they sent out a mold of my tooth to a lab, which came back today. So that's what I'm gonna go have done. I'm gonna have them put the permanent piece of my tooth back in. Uh, I'm running a little bit behind, so I'm gonna get going here and I'll see you guys soon. This entire side of my cheek is completely numb. Oh, I'm so glad I don't have an audition right now. That's horrible. Look at how I'm smiling. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my God. <laughs> Look what it looks like when I try to do a kissy face. Oh, <laughs> give it a kiss. <laughs> oh, Jesus, it's like the Joker. Why is my nose going crooked, though? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> is this forever? This is incredible. So it's like two hours later and I'm still pretty numb. So I'm just gonna do this so you guys don't have to look at it. My dentist just told me that if you basically keep driving up the road that's like right next to where we live, that you hit these like amazing trails. And sure enough, here I am in Narnia. I am so excited to go see what's out here right now. I did run into a Ross and get a bottle of water. Oh, which I still can't drink. Blah, 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 blah. I just saw a sign that said dogs must be on a leash, which is great because it means dogs are allowed. Some of these hikes and trails, you're not allowed to bring dogs. And it's really good to know that there's one this close to our house that will let us bring the babies. I don't know if you guys can see this and I don't want to get too close, but there's like a, a little beehive on the floor. It's so crazy. All these bees. <laughs> life hack for you guys if you're ever walking or running by yourself you can put your keys like this on either side of your middle finger see and just kind of keep them on you this could be a weapon if you needed it to be yeah it's just sort of a good thing to know but do be careful if you run this way because if you fall and god forbid stab yourself like you just don't want that to happen all right let's keep running What do you have to say for yourself, huh? That's so gross, Lily. Why? Why do you eat poops? Don't kiss her, Bo. Who eats a poop? Who says that you need a good boy? My name's Bo, and I'm just a little good boy. And I love my mama. I love, I love. In other news, my facial expression's almost back. So, I was planning on doing breakfast for dinner tonight. It's like one of our favorite things to do. If you love breakfast, I know how much you appreciate breakfast for dinner. It's the best thing ever. It makes you feel like you're having a slumber party or something on just a normal night. And I wanted to make pancakes, but I'm also trying to be healthy and not like carbo load at 10 o'clock at night, which is when we usually end up eating dinner. So I got this recipe for oatmeal pancakes, which are like a healthy alternative to regular pancakes. Even though oatmeal is carbs as well, it's a healthier carb, and it's actually a pretty good carb to have at night. I looked up the recipe and I needed baking powder and baking soda. Now, the last three recipes in which I've needed baking powder or baking soda, I have not first checked in the house to see which one I have. So now we have one, two, three full boxes of baking soda, when what I really needed was 
baking powder. Although, you know, now I'm thinking, I don't have a Saturday video idea yet. So maybe I'll do like a baking soda life hack video or something. I just checked online for a way to substitute baking powder and found out that half a teaspoon of baking soda plus a quarter teaspoon of vinegar makes a good substitute for baking powder. Now I don't have vinegar, so I'm trying it with lemon juice because it just needs an acid. I guess I'll just try to make these pancakes now and uh, we'll see. I just finished the batter and uh, I don't know, I'm suspicious. They do the exact same thing as regular pancakes. They start to bubble up in the middle. I just can't believe this is actually working. I'm in shock. I'm in shock. This is the oatmeal pancake, which I didn't have two ingredients for. I substituted butter for vegetable oil because I only had olive oil. And I substituted that DIY baking powder with baking soda and lemon, not even baking soda and vinegar. I thought this would be such a fail. That tastes as good as it looks. I think I just found my new favorite thing in the entire world. Holy crap, I just tried one and it's the best pancake I've ever had. Not kidding. Fluffiest, best ever. Oh, I'm I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna overdose on pancakes. This is gonna be a real problem in my life, I can tell. Babe, try this. It's good as any pancake I've ever had. Oh. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. This is incredible. This is life changing. Boom. Ooh, yeah. Boom. Ooh, yeah, slightly a little too much, but still pretty good. That's what's up. Bacon and bourbon. <laughs> Thank you, Love. Of course. So, we are on an emergency mission. Betsy called us during dinner <laughs> to let us know that there is a rat in the living room. And we are on our way. Suicide Squad. We're coming, little one. <laughs> Who are you gonna call? Rat killers. Where is this little? It went all the way over here. Both doors were locked. It went here, here, boom, and then it disappeared. Girl, tell me you didn't close your bedroom. It was closed. What? It was closed. The rat opened the door. No, it went under. So I had to <gasps> open. The all this what the is that thing? What? Oh, Mr. Brave. What is happening? Guys, I guess this is under the bed. Can you force it out of it into the open so I can go to work with this here bro? Come on, honey. You gotta get out. Don't hurt him. Oh, God. Gonna... You know what's ironic? <laughs> Not today, baby. Not today, Junior. <laughs> Uh, I don't think it's under here, guys. Do you have a There's like, look at all the places it could go. Oh, all right, well, team after here. Where are you? <laughs> Why is Frank telling everybody on set? Frank basically told everybody on the set of his movie that Betsy had to call us over for a two inch long rat. <laughs> it's not two inches. I walked away and he held the shot and they're like, something okay? And I'm like, yeah, Betsy's freaking out. She's hooked up in the bathroom. And they're like, Why? You know, like, because he's laughing now. <laughs> but he started telling everybody to laugh. Oh, dude. Sorry to say we were unsuccessful in catching the rat, so good luck, Betsy. Well, on that note, I think I'm going to end the vlog here. We make new vlogs every Wednesday, new videos every Saturday. Subscribe down there by hitting the little red button. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. It's cool either way. I just want to know what you guys are into. And also leave me comments because I like talking to you guys and getting to know you. I will see you next time. Bye.